Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody out there doing today? This is uh, an exciting box for me. Uh, this is actually a Mystery Booster Convention Edition, a box that I have never opened. Uh, this will be my first one ever opening. I've opened uh, I opened a case of the real Mystery Booster Retail Edition ones when they came out, and oh, I just got hammered. But it's okay, because I've heard on authority that if you get the bubbled box like this with the big, big little cushion up here, then you actually will get the mana crypt. So that's what we're hoping. Hopefully that information is true. So <laughs> there's a, a lot of playtest cards and goofy stuff in here. Um, but <laughs> the Wizards did that uh, festival in a box thing uh, like several months ago. I don't know, like six months ago, maybe a year ago. I don't know. It was a while back. Uh, and you could get, like, the Convention Edition Mystery Booster boxes and, I think, Dominaria Remastered and a couple other things. I forget, some promo cards or something in there. So, I bought a few of them uh, just so I could get some of the Convention Edition boxes so I could actually open one for one. So, we're going to break into it. There's a lot of, like, value, a lot of valuable cards in here. However... Because it's like a 1,500 card set, not counting the uh, test cards, uh, they're really, really hit or miss boxes. You can open a box and get nothing, or you can open a box and get awesomeness. So it was, it was kind of annoying because I, I bought, uh, I bought six boxes from uh, one of my local game stores, and I opened all six boxes of no mana crypt, and then the owner of the store had like a few packs left over from a uh, draft. And he's like, oh, I'm just going to open one. And he opens one pack and pulls a mana crypt. I was like, what? <laughs> That's just the way the luck rolls in this game sometimes. <laughs> it was pretty funny, but at the same time, pretty pretty aggravating. Because like, I opened six boxes of these. And remember, this is uh, one of the first uh, times that they really upcharged on a product. So... They were pretty expensive for the time. Now it's like, oh, well, those are pretty cheap. But at the time, I was like, oh, that's way more expensive than a regular booster box. But anyway, let's break in here, see what we get. Uh, they did put the original logos, the original set logos on the cards, but they've got the little list kind of Planeswalker logo down here. So they look like list cards, basically, and this, that's, this is where the list came from. Uh, so we do have to kind of slow roll the commons and uncommons because there is valuable commons and uncommons in these. Oh, that's a great little card. So we do have to kind of pay attention to that. And they're out of order the way that they did the packs. So we will kind of look through every card here. Um, and then Time Sieve for our first rare. And Chromatic Lantern. There you go. And then Zim Mesmeric Lord is our first test card. I kind of slow down on the test cards here. I don't know which ones are worth anything. I've got the price list pulled up, and I'll try and kind of look at them, but I don't really know which ones are what. It doesn't look like this one's at the top of the list, so we'll move right along here. Open pack number two. So, because this is the first time I've opened one of these boxes, hopefully you guys aren't in a hurry. Uh, I'll probably go a little bit slower. Wing shards, fun little uncommon. Very, very weird how they lay out the cards in these these packs. They're not like commons and then uncommons and then uh, rares. It's it's just kind of chaos. Skull Clamp, great little card. Uh, Flame Shot, Supreme Verdict, and Enchantment Ties for our next uh, our next playtest card. Which again, I don't think is one of the one of the real valuable ones. There's only a few that are worth a bunch of money, but there is some up in that like. $20, $30 range on the playtest card, so we'll be sure to look out for those as we go through here. But there's also, there's Rhystic Tutors, or Rhystic Study, <laughs> Rhystic Tutor, Rhystic Study and stuff like that in the Commons and Uncommon spots. Uh, Lotus Petals in the Common spot. So, Bloodbreed Elf, he's one. Cascade, nice. Uh, Frixian Metamorph and Chaos Warp, and then Chimney Goyf. <laughs> Some of the names are pretty goofy. They just, they do goofy names during the playtest cards just because they don't have an actual name for them. They just call them whatever. So when they're playtesting with them, so it's kind of fun. Uh, Sun Lance, great. I loved, uh, I loved, uh, uh, what was it? Not Time Spiral, uh, 
Planner Chaos or Crows. Just because they took stuff that wasn't supposed to be in that color and put it in that color. We call mints. And Thernix, Scions, Old Spine Dragon, Grave Crawler, and Rails Vanguard. Okay. Uh, that's our next playtest card in here. So, interesting. I was, I was like looking behind the card to kind of see what card they put the sticker on originally. It's kind of interesting. Hopefully there's no super valuable cards behind there. So I didn't put a sticker on a Black Lotus. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me, but it would be kind of, kind of just one of those things that makes you hurt. Grape shot. Good old Storm. I love Storm. Been running a Dragon Storm deck on Arena a lot. <laughs> really annoying people, I think, because, oh, hey, what happened here? What happened here? That's not the right color. Is that a misprint? Is the whole set misprinted like that, or is it just this card? Ooh, interesting. I hadn't seen that before. Um, I think that might be a misprint, because, like, all the text is in black, even though they're supposed to be in white. We'll put that up here, because I don't know. Eldritch Evolution for our next rare, and Loopy Lobster <laughs> for our, uh, our next playtest card. That's a pretty loopy card. Yeah, I think that Centaur might be a might be a misprint. I've never seen one like that before. Uh, I'm not, I haven't opened a lot of the mystery stuff, though, so may maybe like that in the mystery boxes. Um, I just didn't know. But Goblin Bombardment, or it's so much fun. I have won games with Goblin Bombardment before. Thought Eraser, hate that card. Um, heck on. Eldrazi Monument for our first Mythic. Okay. And a gold mine. All right. Uh, I don't think that's valuable. We'll put that aside and we'll go to the next pack. Come on, Mana Crypt. Mana Crypt's still pretty valuable. I have an original Mana Crypt, so I'm not too worried about it. And I've pulled some Mana Crypts in some of the other reprint sets, some of the Master sets, but what they put it in? Uh, double Masters, I think. Was it Double Masters? I don't know. But I do have an original, so. Bladewing, he's in my Dragon Storm deck on Arena. He's so much fun. Pop out a couple of Terror of the Peaks, then throw out some Blade Wings and pull everything back out of the graveyard that you've been dumping to try and dig for the uh, for the Mystic's Mastery. <laughs> oh, people get annoyed real easy. Imperial Armor, I think that's a common, but I'm not sure. I don't have the old sets memorized like it should be. Coat of Arms and Soulmates. Hey, Soulmates is the thirty dollar playtest card. We'll uh, put this little guy in a sleeve here. So it's a uh, one green and two colorless aura. Enchant two creatures. Enchant creatures each get plus one, plus one, and have hex proof. When one of the enchanted creatures dies, destroy the other one. Interesting. Very interesting. So that is, according to the current TCG price, it's like 33 bucks, but, you know, that's probably just the, the market. Uh, the low that it's actually selling for is probably quite different, but hey. That's the most valuable playtest card in the whole box possible in the set. Not the box, the set. So, uh, well, it's, I'm sure it's the most valuable one in the box, too, considering it's the most valuable one in the set. But anyways, I digress. We're talking in loops here. All right. Let's see what else we can pull out of this thing. Take down. Burn his heart. And Athrio's got a passage for our next mythic. And release the gremlins. <laughs> Fun guard. And then Rift for our next uh, playtest card. My, my, uh, my price list closed. But yeah, I don't think that one's on there. All right. Stack number two. All right, I'll try and speed up a little bit. But there's just a lot going on in these. So I'm not sure how well I can do and not miss anything. And also not make it a disaster to try and try and uh, sort out later. Imperius Perfect, really good card. Perfect Prism. Temporal Mastery. And Geometric Weird. That is so weird. Uh, I don't see it at the top of the list, so not valuable. It's so geometrically weird. <laughs> All right, moving on. Disenchant. Brainstorm, great card. 
Impact Tremors. And Spectre, Dirt Your Brief. Oh, Soren Markov for another Mythic. And Beacon of Immortality. And Seasoned Weaponsmith. Uh, don't see it. All right, moving on. Trying not to make a 20-minute video here, but we're certainly only halfway through the box, and we're 10 minutes in. Might be a longer one. Uh, this is for the hardcore fans out there that don't mind watching a long video. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to speed up, I swear. How goes wild? Underworld Coinsmith. He he can be a lot of fun in the right combo. Play a mirror. Wargate. And Eldritch Evolution again. on the Banding Sliver. Uh-oh. Remember Banding? Uh, Banding Sliver. $15 card. Nice. So uh, this is another one of the, the valuable playtest cards. So there we go. We got two of the top playtest cards in here. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's doing pretty decent in this box so far. We get a Mana Crypt, and it's a home run. <laughs> uh, the price was pretty silly on these. Uh, basically paid for, like, the the other stuff and got this for free for the most part. It's kind of kind of weird. Uh, they were just kind of... Giving them away. Good old Amazon dump, but not on Amazon. Middling Mage and Black Market. There you go. And Aggressive Crag. I don't think that one's on the list. All right, move along. Oh, you guys got places to be, things to do. I'm trying to trying to hurry. Looking for a Dread Return. That's another one of the valuable uncommons in here. Like the Impulse, Young Pyromancer is uncommon. And Rock's War Monk, Majukabog, Hypnotic Spectre. He's, he was so good back in the day. And Matu's Augury and the Evil Boros Charm. Oh, look at that. It's three color. It's white and black or red and black. So you can use mono black and it still works. But there's that. <laughs> Goofy stuff. None of the big commons or uncommons yet. Fountain Renewal, Spring Guard, Dominus of Fealty, Goblin Pile Driver, and the Bone Rattler. Um, nope, not on there. Moving on. Now we have four mythics so far. Hopefully we get some more mythics in here. Uh, keep a keep an eye on it. Let me know if I miss anything good. <laughs> Hard to, hard to keep track of all this stuff. Well, an ultimatum and the Get Rog Monster and High Troller. High Troller is not on there. Okay. Moving along. Next pack. All right, we're two thirds of the way through the box. 13 minutes in. I think I did that second part of the box a little faster. Try the course. Poor Fibble Thips, totally lost. Dragon Whelp, great card. And Soul Ring, there we go. Soul Ring at Uncommon. And a Sanctuary. Friction Plague Lord. And Spell Morph Raise Dead. Okay. Um, don't see it. Oh, there. Right. Last stack. One more stack of packs to go through. And that's all the goofiness. Uh, very humbling. Very humbling. <laughs> Not really. I'm just making stuff up as I go here. Looking for the hits, man. Darren Dynamo, Karen Wonder, and Adorn Pouncer, and Memory Bank for the next uh, playtest card. That's not on the list. Yeah, so we got two of the big boys, and possibly a, a really bad misprint there. <laughs> we'll see. I'll have to see after it's after I'm done with the video. I'll look it up and see if that's a a known one or not. Plague Grafter, he can be really annoying. Uh, oh, come on. Where's some of the good commons and uncommons? That's, that was one of the most fun things about these boxes was finding these big hits in the common and uncommon section. Questing Feldergriff and Stunt Double and Enchanted Prairie. Um, card name enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, that's pretty lame. That's a, that's a really lame one. We've got so many lands that enter the battlefield tapped. Dual lands. And they actually do something. The one that doesn't do anything. It's kind of lame. We, we don't care about that. 
Uh, I don't like lands that come into play tapped at all. I won't stack them. The only ones I consider are the cycling lands, the, the triumphs. Uh, but that's about it. Bone splitter. Probably his lancers. Control win condition. I don't like. That's a blue deck's favorite card. It's not worth anything. Nobody likes blue. <laughs> I like blue. I just don't like control decks. Uh, it's it's kind of lame to play against them. All right. I definitely scooped the counter spells. Probably go sorcerer. Good old Tim. He doesn't look like Tim anymore, though. Uh, Forge Devil. Genjo of the Spires. That's one card. Cultivate. There's uh, one of the more valuable commons in the set. First quarter. Night of Dawn. I don't remember. Aether Flux Reservoir. And Sun Am Sun Amret. Sun Amret. I don't get it. Okay. Move on. I know you guys really want to tune in to watch me mispronounce cards. <laughs> That's my favorite part of watching other people's videos, too. I know. Uh, sort of kicking the batuti. Uh, Jungle Delver. Perilous Mirror. Dungrove Elder. Deep Blue Skate. Generated Horizons. So, uh, Generated Horizons is like a $6 card. That'll work a few bucks. All right, come on. Just a few packs left. Where's that mana crypt? That mana crypt will wake everybody up. This is a long, boring video. Come on. Where I'm actually going through every single common. <laughs> Everybody's like, would you stop looking at commons, dude? Uh, Sakashima the Imposter. And Mirror Entity. And Whammy Burn. <laughs> Whammy! All right. <laughs> oh, man. A good old anchor, man. Such a good movie. All right, come on. Give us something fancy in the end here. Make it worth all this looking through commons and uncommons. Throw us a lotus petal or something. That's not altar. There you go. There's a valuable uncommon. I think that's like a $10 uncommon. Uh, maybe not that much. All is dust. And a wizened arbiter for the next uh, playtest card. All right, one pack left. Uh, I don't have a lot of mythics. I only have five mythics. And got a couple decent counts and uncounts. We did get a couple good playtest cards, but it's not looking too good right now. Gotta tell you. Gotta tell you, we definitely need something good out of this pack, because otherwise, it's not the greatest box. And we spent a lot of time opening it. Come on. Give us something big. First passage. Asceticism. I think that one might be decent. Queen Marchesa. She was worth a lot, but not so much anymore. And then trial and error for our last playtest card, which is not worth much. All right. So we did get the most valuable playtest card in the box. We got the Soulmates, and then we got the uh, the Banding Sliver, which is uh, actually fairly valuable um, as far as playtest cards go. And it's really like, kind of weak printing there on the on the Manic things. So the Manic costs. Um, anyway. So banding, yeah, banding was fun back in the day. So if you're if you're not old school like me, uh, banding, if you had a creature with banding out, you could band him with another creature, and then you got to assign combat damage when you blocked with multiple creatures with banding. Uh, your opponent didn't get to this assign the combat damage. So if you block with like a three three and a one one, and and they hit you with a with a two two. You could put the two on the three three, and the one one would still survive. So, uh, yeah, that's how it worked. Get to Rogue Monster, Sort Markov, Temporal Mastery, Athreos, Got a Passage, and Aldrazi Monument for a very oh, and Queen Marchesa. For just pointing uh, five mythics there, uh, no mana crypt, but I think this may be a, a a pretty cool misprint. This Phantom Centaur with the Phantom writing on it. Once they did that, just as a tongue in cheek thing. He's a phantom, so you can't see him, so you can't see his printing. But, <laughs> but I don't think so. I think that's probably a misprint. Let me know if you guys know. Let me know in the comments below. Is this just how they accidentally printed this card, or is that a legit misprint? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize it was such a long video, but 
Uh, these are really weird boxes with a lot of stuff in them. And uh, I was really hoping to grab a Lotus Pell or a Ristic Study or something in the common, uncommon spots. So that's why we kind of slow rolled it all. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the description on your way out. A lot of good links down there to save your money, get your cash back on all your purchases. They help with the channel, they help you out. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one.